I thought he was getting his cheeks clapped by a se for a second, dude. No. <laughs> by no, no, a no. second. Oh, no. Uh -oh. Yo, what is everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, I didn't feel like playing any games today. So, I'm doing the next best thing. Reacting to scary videos. My brother sent me a few on Discord by a channel called Spectre. They do FNAF style VHS videos, I guess you could say. I have no idea what they're about. Never seen them. I just opened up my Discord. I remembered he sent me a few to watch. I never I never watched them, I never got to until today. So yeah, let's see what these videos are about, shall we? Okay. All right, is this thing on? It's working, okay. So the boss wanted me to come in a bit later than usual to do some after hour salvaging on the older animatronic. Uh, since we're opening a new location sometime in uh, June of next year, essentially we're going to see if we can reuse as many parts as we can that will uh, go on to be used for the newer models. Okay. Uh, I'm fairly new to all this, to be honest, so I'm not quite ex exactly sure what to expect going into this run here. But uh, Bob told me when he went to go do the hands and the mouth that it's really nothing more than just uh, a few audio clips played from a tape recorder. So uh, hoping I'm uh, getting a sim I hope I'll get a, a similar experience filming into this, but I'm not entirely sure of that. Uh, so boss said to record me doing it as well to, uh, for archive purposes, and okay. also to have some proof that I actually did it. Um, and so let's see here. Let's shift the camera to this one. Oh, dude, that's dark. Oh, nah. Yeah. I don't think that's fine, dude. <laughs> dude, I'd be freaking out Maybe. if they were just closed behind me. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> oh, nah, dude. Look at it. Look at it. Oh, heck, it's not, dude. Why would there be a chair? Yeah. Just right in front of it. Guess he wasn't wrong. All right. Let's get this, let's get this shit over with. Let's see. Computer. Oh, no. Garbage. Okay. All right, then. The salvage maintenance. Congratulations on completing your first day. However, your job isn't over just yet. Oh, really now. There is another aspect to your end of day routine. <laughs> dude, I can't with these videos, dude. They make them so good. Oh During my god. Check on the animatronic frequently. If you feel that it is becoming unstable, use the taser provided to you. You can use it three times without damaging the hardware. Every use over three, however, will decrease the item's salvage value. Okay. Begin audio prompt in three, makes, two, makes sense, one. kinda, sorta. Okay, that sounds like a god dang transformer. No optimum bright. <laughs> oh. All right. Uh, looks like the left arm moved up a little bit. Okay. Let's see if anything else moves. Okay, what happened to its arms? It's like a bunch of wires. Document results. All right, so the left arm went up about 90 degrees, so I guess I'll mark that as a yes. Okay, so far so good. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. Oh, heck's not. Document results. All right, so What's up with the sounds? Right so that's another yes. Okay. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. Weird on that thought. 
I swear these sounds sound like they're straight out of Transformers. Oh my god! Document results. Okay, looks like nothing moved that time. Guess that's a no then. Alright. Begin audio prompt oh. in three. Oh. Uh. Um, uh, okay. <laughs> well, I, I guess that, that See. counts. Uh. <laughs> It was good. The eyes move the next time. Oh. Uh. <laughs> that job, dude, I would be yeah. out of that move. Uh, I'll get a job at McDonald's right, instead. One. <laughs> dude, these creepy ass sounds. I can't with these. I'd be shit my pants. Document results. Okay, nothing, nothing. <laughs> Stop. Stop it. <laughs> He's scared to look down, dude. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. Okay. Document <laughs> results. <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> Keeping an eye on us, dude. Right. What you mean? Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. Why is there only one light? That's my question. <laughs> Why is there only one Document light? Resolved. Why can there be more? Okay, another no. You got some pearly whites on you. What the f is that? What the, what the heck? What the f was that? What the heck is going on? Dude, I would have walked out. Well, okay, I would be staring at it and slowly walking back to the door and then be out of there. Um, buddy, I think you should run. Where do you, where? Where the f I thought he was getting, I thought he was getting his cheeks clapped by a se for a second, dude. No. <laughs> by a second. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. oh, no. oh, no. Bro, if you're watching this, I freaking hate you, man. Next video. This one's called Maintenance Report. And it's also by Spectre. It's another FNAF VHS style video. Never seen it. Don't know what it's about. Let's hop in. Okay. That was Bonnie. We got blueprints. All right. <laughs> so I've managed to finally roll this thing in here. So I guess let's go ahead and get started now boss wants me to run through this maintenance report so hopefully you can figure out why this thing has been acting up lately uh, we're also opening a new location next year so what's most likely going to happen is i'm going to have to strip this thing apart so we can use it for spare parts for the newer animatronic models so let's go ahead and see what i need to do first um let's see here movement test all right then we will need as many parts as we me personally i would have turned the table around so i could be staring at it the whole time because i don't trust that thing like behind me if i'm like doing something and it just moves i turn around and then it stops and then turn back right in and it's moving like those movies you know bro what are you talking about man it's not simple enough it's not easy oh right. will you survive Computer that's a real on. question get this thing hooked up and let's see how this movement test goes <laughs> it starts throwing them back a floppy disk an old ass computer. Yes. Alright, let's see here. 
Let's go ahead and start with the head movements first. And then we'll just go down the rest of the body. Se echó un corridón. Bien bélico, bien bélico. El que miraban para abajo, la vuelta les dio. Y amantes en el cuello vivía. I guess there's some kind of circuit malfunction. I'm not sure why. It's... Okay. I don't think that's a circuit malfunction, dude. What is happening? All right. Okay, so let me just go ahead and make sure everything is connected right, get it all rebooted, and then we'll pick up where we left off. Okay, so just checking the circuits now on the back of the head here. They might be shorted. These control the neck and jaw servos, and yeah, they seem to have been shorted. So that means the head won't move unless all of the electronics are completely gutted and replaced. Huh. Thankfully, I'm not repairing this piece of junk, so I guess I'll just leave everything how it is and move Bruh. on to the next thing. <laughs> Dude, at least rip out the wires or something. All right, so let's see. Did you hit enter? All right. So if the ears aren't moving, that means the shortage affected just about everything connected to the head. So I guess the ears don't work either. Hmm. All right. Let's try the arms instead, I guess. Okay. Great. At least we can salvage something from the endoskeleton. So let's try the other one now. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Ni modo. Rising by the neck. <laughs> You just Let's not go smell ahead it. And take off this left arm now before something kills it too, so I can at least salvage something from this thing. All right. So as you can see here, I managed to get the left arm taken off. Took a bit of force and of course some know-how, but here it is. And as <laughs> you just cut the wires and yanked it off. But still intact enough to be rewired to anything else. So hopefully I'll be able to salvage everything that I haven't tested already. But seeing how easily that right shoulder joint just snapped, I highly doubt it'll be that easy. Mm -hmm. All right, let's move on to the hips now. Man, I mean, this thing might as well Como be in right in front of me. I'm surprised they want me to salvage anything from it at all. All right. Let's move on to the legs. Left leg. La hace como peso pluma. Okay, those seem to be working fine. I'm scared he's gonna run at him. Last, though, when I get finished with everything else, because I'll still need this thing standing. Okay, fabric exterior salvage. The new animatronic models will be made from a plastic mold, which means we will need to salvage as many pieces of the fabric layer as possible. The most important of which are the hard to replicate oh, but, features such as buddy, the head, face, buddy, and buddy, turn around. Oh, Jesus! Ah! Why is? Forgot to turn the computer off. Woo. Okay, so, uh, anyways. <laughs> Jeez. Like uh. Salvaging the exterior layer now. Um, buddy, it's staring right at you. Go ahead and get the other endo parts alongside the fabric piece that I actually need. Is 
was easy. All right. With that, that should be everything. Okay, so as you can see, I've gone ahead and taken the eyes out since they seem to be working just fine. In addition to that, I also went ahead and took off a foot and the right hand since they were pretty much the only remaining superior pieces that weren't turned up in the room. So, huh. all of those endo parts along with their exterior pieces can be boxed up and shipped off. Alright, so that's about everything I could salvage from this thing so far. Um, the only thing that could also go, but it's giving me a hard time right now, is the head plate here. For some reason, it won't budge, and I have no idea why. Mm. I've checked for anything that could still be holding it in place, and so far I've found nothing. Put some WD-40 on it. It should have come off easily. Naming the head piece specifically, so that means it's one of the main pieces they want. So I don't know. I guess let me keep cracking at it until something gives. Then I'll restart the recording and let you know what I find out. All right. After a bit of force oh. and a few extra cuts, I managed to tear the face off, as you can see down there. So I figured out that the headpiece still wouldn't budge because it's completely glued to the back of the head, which is very unusual. So if I were huh. to try and force it off, it'll most likely tear in unpredictable directions and make the entire thing unsalvageable. But they did make it sound like they only wanted the actual face of the animatronic, so that's down there along with everything I managed to physically scrap from this thing. Okay. So we are done with that then. Okay, let's see. Odor report. Okay, then. Odor? We've recently been receiving complaints about smells and unpleasant odors emitting from the animatronic. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. These odors have been described as rotten, yep, decomposed, like something died inside it. We suspect that perhaps a rodent or animal has accidentally found its way into the animatronic and became trapped within its shed. Press down both of the shoulders to remove the torso of the animatronic. Oh, por Dios, tengo miedo. Huh. I guess the power went out. Yeah, I might have tripped the breaker or something with all that computer commotion. <sighs> all right. Let's go turn the power back on and hopefully do a nice job. What the? <coughs> hey, let me out, guys. This isn't funny. Uh Guess let me finish up real quick in the dark. Oh no. Where'd it go? <laughs> oh really? Right now? Bruh. Come on, come on. Oh, oh, what? What the fuck? Why is it? Oh god. <laughs> Jesus Christ, what was that? Oh, <laughs> that one. <laughs> that was, wasn't as bad as the first one. Bro, where do you find these gosh dang VHS tapes, dude? You have so much free time. In homework, you're watching freaking FNAF videos on YouTube. I think we have one more. This one's called Paranormal Investigation. It's another one by Spectre, and it's a FNAF VHS style video. So let's hop in and see what this one is about. Got a bit of an unusual call today, but a job is still a job, I guess. Mm -hmm. I got a call from a kid's restaurant manager saying that they've been experiencing some weird paranormal activity. Let's see. Paranormal? The place is called Shamuko. Fazbear's Pizza. Uh, normally, I'd get calls into places that are abandoned or at least old buildings that are at least a century old. But, uh... The strip mall itself looks pretty new, and the manager told me that this particular location was opened roughly five years ago. Oh. He mentioned that these activities are interrupting businesses, and that they might have to close this location and reopen it elsewhere if I can't figure out what's going on. Hmm. So let me go ahead and read off a few things they told me. So, let's see here. Alright. Uh, they've reported that mysterious and disembodied voices can be heard all throughout the restaurant. Uh, property, particularly the animatronics themselves, will often move around the restaurant during the night, even when the power to the building is shut off completely. Sometimes said property will mysteriously disappear and then reappear a day or so later. And then this is one of the incidents they were telling me about, where basically a bunch of kids came running out of the bathroom crying because they saw, quote, someone else staring at them in the mirror, and that they were speaking in a language they didn't understand. Uh, a few employees will often feel a tense presence when working on or next to the What kind of restaurant is this, dude? Night. night shift workers have reported seeing children, usually one at a time, walk around the restaurant after hours when the doors are locked. 
when they go to assess the situation and figure out how the child accidentally got locked in, they are nowhere to be found, and some have even disappeared in full view of a few employees. When checking the security camera footage, these children seem to rage in age and sex, but will consistently look between the ages of 6 and 11. And that's all she wrote. So, based <laughs> on that she information wrote. alone, my guess is that this is some sort of poltergeist. Uh, it does sound like there may be more than one in the building, but of course I won't know that for sure until I can hopefully make contact. I wouldn't even go there by myself. I take the friends there. No one's been possessed colleagues. or died yet. Then it seems these entities. That way the ghost can get them and then clap them instead of me, so I can be running. Like these very well may just be the spirits of actual children who are maybe just lost and obviously confused about what's going on. But again, we'll know for sure until we're in there. All right, I believe that's everything I need. Yep, that's everything. All right. It's so dark, gee. Okay, I was told the door should be unlocked and nobody should be inside the building. So let's see what's up with this place. Oh, where are the owners at? They should have been there to open the door with them and be like, yeah, all right, man. I'll see you at 6 a.m. Good luck. You're going to need it. Okay, so the power to the building should be cut entirely. Should be. All right, that seems to be the case. Okay, so I told them to make sure that the building's power was cut completely, just to make sure, like, if a light turns on or the temperature changes or anything like that, then we could rule out the possibility of it being the power. Also, we need to make sure that it's not messing with the EMF reader. But, of course, this unfortunately means that I have to work in the dark. Uh. Alright, let's get the EMF reader out, and let's see. Well, shit, okay. So I was told that all of their animatronic characters should be on stage and shut down. And um, uh, what is this thing? Seems to be uh, one missing. The Fazbear. I was told there's a bear, a bunny, a chicken, and a fox. And the uh, fox is there. It doesn't seem like the bear one's on stage. Probably shouldn't jump the gun just yet, though. Maybe one of the employees forgot to take him out of storage or something. Regardless, let's uh, go ahead and get set up here. Or he put him back in storage. All right, let's see what the EMF reader picks up. I'm starting to get some chills right now, so there must be something close. It's pretty Fazbear. I can't hear blips here and there, but nothing pretty substantial yet. Oh, here we go. I think we got something right here. Don't check yeah, on me. seems to be in this area. Let's go ahead and set up the spirit box then. Things are freaking creepy, dude. All right, if there's anyone in the room with me right now, please make your presence known. I need you no harm. I just need to know if anyone can hear me right now. You can either manipulate something in this room or attempt to speak to this device that I've set up for you. My name is Sean. Can you say my name back to me? Whoa, shit, here we go. <laughs> okay, just so I can make sure that it wasn't a coincidence, can you say my name again? Sean. Alright, thank you. So now that I know that I'm speaking to someone, can you tell me your name? Susie. Susie. Did I hear you say Susie? Yes. Okay, hi Susie. Is there anyone else in the room with me right now, or is it just me and you? They're here. Who's they, Susie? What are their names? Do you know their names, Susie? 
Alright, well if you don't know, that's fine. Just wanted to see if you did know. How old are you, Susie? Do you remember your age? There's too many to name, that's why she didn't say anything. Eight. Okay. So you must be one of the children that I've heard about. Alright, Susie. I guess more to the point. How did you die? Do you remember how you died? I'm not here to hurt you in any way, Susie. I just want to understand what happened to you and why you're here. If you're uncomfortable telling me... Murder. Murder? Who murdered you? Do you remember this person's name? We'll say Freddy. Bunny. Oh. Bunny? <laughs> Had it wrong. You were murdered by a bunny? Bonnie, not a bunny. You meant Donnie? Like a Donald? Yes. Wait, was that a yes? <laughs> All right then. Uh, how did this bunny kill you? Knife. A knife. Susie, was this a person dressed like a bunny? Yes. Holy shit! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Hold up, I have to make sure the camera got that. Okay. Holy. So there might have been a murder or something that happened here. Yo. A murder. I don't know how I would react in that situation. I don't know if I would leave the box or what. I don't want to watch the rest. <laughs> but I'm going to. Sean Oder said that they had operated here for five years straight and the paranormal activity didn't start happening until after this July. So this may have been something that happened pretty recently. But I have no idea what that actually means though. Maybe an employee decided he or she had enough. Maybe some crack job snuck in here with a bunny suit on. Or maybe the spirit's just lying to me. I have no idea. I'll have to show this to the restaurant owners to see if maybe they caught something like that on the security cameras. But let me just say that these responses are certainly not unusual in a place like this. Mm -hmm. Also, what's surprising to me is how direct they are. They're fairly coherent and understandable, and I'm getting them within a pretty short amount of time, which is usually a clear sign that I'm actually speaking to someone. But anyways, let's see if we can make contact again. All right, are you still there, Susie? Susie, can you still hear me? Ah, just lost the signal. If there are any spirits still in the room with me, please make your presence known. I'm trying to hide from the freaking video. Are you sitting down right here? Off. Off. Do you want the flashlight off? Okay, those are brand new batteries. There's no way my flashlight just died. Uh -huh. Yeah, look at that. Still works. Now that the flashlight's off, will you talk to me now? Yeah. Off again? What else do you want me to turn off? Noise. Noise? You want me to turn the spirit box off? If I turn off the noise, will you talk to me? Alright, let's go ahead and turn the spirit box off for now. Alright, I turned the noise off. Whoever you are, I'm not trying to hurt you. I just want to have a conversation with you. Um, Can you tell me where you are right now? How are you going to hear him if he tells you to turn it off? You already know something's up. Like, I'd be like, uh, I don't think so, buddy. Uh, <laughs> I tell you whenever I'm about to turn this mother trucker off. So, deal with it. The fuck is that noise? What the fuck is that? What? Hello? What? I missed it. I don't know what the it was. <laughs> I'm scared to go back. I don't know if the camera could see that. But I for sure just saw a head stick out and move over there. There should be no one here but me. Maybe they want to play foosball, dude. 
so I'm going to have to rewatch the footage to get a better look at whatever the hell that just was. But it looked like a shallowette of a person standing next to these pinball machines. This person definitely wasn't as tall as me, so maybe it was an apparition of one of the children the night guards keep. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh, nah, fam. Don't go in there. Look at that. Now it's locked. Is the other one locked? Yeah, the other one's locked, too. <laughs> Jeez. Well, I was gonna do some stuff in the bathroom to see if I could get the spirit the kids saw to reveal itself, but uh, it seems like the spirit isn't a fan of that. So maybe I could come back tomorrow or something and see if the owners can unlock the door again and maybe take off its hinges so there won't be a door for the spirit to lock, you know? Yeah. I do. Anyways, yeah, do I that. seriously yeah. need to check the footage because I need to make sure the camera even saw what I just saw. Ooh, there's going to be something behind him. All right, so it looks exactly what I saw, which was pretty much a shadow apparition of someone. It also looked like it could be a small kid, maybe which would make sense if it's one of the children that the night guard keep talking about. Are these... About. What was your name? Susie? Something like that? Yeah sounded completely different than the first spirit I talked to, so I don't know. Let's, uh, go ahead and turn the spirit box back on, see if we can get anyone else here to talk with me, and also see if any other activity will happen tonight. If not, then I'm probably gonna call it quits for tonight. <laughs> oh, sh- <laughs> No. No. Hello? <laughs> no. That's gotta be one of the children. Look at that. Now she's gone. Hold up. Let me grab the case so I can see what that's about. Nah, fam. Don't go in there. Wait, but up there, go slower, dude. Oh, oh there's Freddy. Huh. Well, I guess that explains where you were the entire time. I'm, uh, I'm having a bit of a hard time believing you were left like that, though. I want to at least try to do a session with one of these things, so I guess now's a better time than any to see if these spirits are in fact controlling the animatronics themselves. <coughs> Going in with the big gun now. I'm gonna set up an ovulus for this session. You did? Binoculars. So I had one. All right. Is there anyone in the room with me right now? Anyone who'd like to communicate with me? I, of course, mean you no harm. I just want to know if someone else is in here with me. Did, uh, did someone here move the... I am. You are? Okay, good. What's your name? Gabriel. Gabriel. All right. Um. Hi, Gabriel. Can you tell me roughly where you are in the room? In the bear. In. bear. So you're he's, saying you're in front of the bear? He's in. He is the bear. He's inside the bear. Inside. There, see. Inside. Are you the one who moved the bear in here? Gabriel, why are you possessing the animatronics here? I'm not gonna assume you're trapped. Doing he's trapped, bro. Trapped. You're. You're trapped inside that thing. How did you get trapped? Gabriel, I know this may be uncomfortable for you, but I can't help you unless you answer my questions. Got eaten, bro. How did you get trapped in that thing? Okay, well, if you're still troubled by what happened to you, then I guess we can skip those questions. If it means you'll keep talking to me. Okay. Okay, after watching it for a while, the guy sounds like Patrick Bateman. You know the, the Sigma? You know the Sigma edits with Patrick Bateman from uh, American Psycho? <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's just me. Do you remember how you died, Gabriel? Murder. There it is again. Murder. Exactly. Murder. Do you remember who murdered you, Gabriel? Him. Him? Him who? What do you mean, him, Gabriel? Do you remember his name? Gabriel, whether you're trying to or not, you're causing a lot of problems for the people who own this place. Now, if you help me out... We must die, 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 die. We'll pay. 
I assume um, you're talking about your killer. I don't know if I'm going to kill him, per se, but I'm willing to find him and make him pay for what he did to you and Susie. Now just tell me what you remember of him. Did you catch a glimpse of him, maybe? Do you remember what he looked like? What he was wearing? Purple. Okay, Bonnie. Purple. Bonnie. Well, at least that's something. I was told by the restaurant owner that the employees here wear purple outfits. Did this person look like he worked here, maybe? Yes. Yes. Interesting. Did you ever see his face? Can you describe it to me? No, too dark. No, too dark. Okay, mm. so it must have been too dark to make out the facial features, I guess. All right, so one last thing I want to ask before I go. I was talking to another spirit here named Susie, and she mentioned something about someone in a bunny suit. Does that sound familiar to you? Gabriel? Are you still there? Get out. Get out? Why? Why do you want you me to You best get to get going, out. son. Get out. <laughs> you better get now, to running. To upset get out. Oh. <gasps> go, dude. He's telling you to go. Why did this just go out? Aw, uh, you done messed up. What the? <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. What the fuck? Holy shit. Oh. Oh, yo, 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 we better get there. He did say get out. Come on, come on, come on. Uh oh. Uh oh. Go, 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 Dude, is that purple man? So they said purple. They said Bonnie. Then the person that walked up to the camera at the end was wearing purple, but it wasn't Bonnie. So it must have been the purple, the purple guy, the purple man. Oh, I think that's enough FNAF VHS videos for today. <laughs> Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. And if you want to see more FNAF VHS videos, let me know down below. But I want to thank you guys once again for watching this video. And I will see you guys in the next one.